Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have a collection update brought to you by the mighty Corpse Crystal Records, Infernal, Hails, and Gratitude. Seriously. And if you are a patron, you're going to also benefit from this package. But we're going to be blasting some Vaminoor because it's awesome. Thank you, Mark. And bringer of Gore Records. But I received some mail yesterday from... Corpse Crystal Records out of Texas. Even got a personal sticker. Adam, here are the latest releases from Corpse Crystal for your all are out now and currently available with the exception with the exception of the Dead End Vinyl. It will be released early March. Thanks for all the support. Total support to Corpse Crystal, Burning Dogma, also The Boys in Piss Rot, with the full length, and oh boy, this, like, I was stoked to do, you know, guest vocals and stuff on the promo, and I'm just really proud of because when I went over their first demo I was like keep an eye on this band because I expect big things and yeah I was right cassette released Corpse Crystal and just some rancid cavernous death metal as it claims but I really love the artwork, honestly. It reminded me of just like, like just it was pretty, just kind of classic, kind of like thrashy almost. But I love it. It's just bad ass and hard as hell. And Pissrot have just again been on my radar. For a few years now and just keep getting better and better and I'm just very proud of Piss Rot in general and gotta thank you in the J card I appreciate it and I still do not have a working CD player so if you are a Patreon and you are entered in the February prize package contest, because I'll be picking the winner on the 4th, I'm going to switch some videos around so this drops on the 3rd, but sealed CD with a guitar pick, hell yeah. And we also have the debut demo or EP. Well, I'm not sure if it's a debut. I apologize. But Left to Rot with um, Breath of the Tomb. This is really, really badass. Like, I checked it out. I posted it on the Patreon to let you know that you could win it. Really good. I really wish I could listen to it physically. And, yeah. Like, the new Piss, piss Rot, though. Like, hell yeah. Thank you, Corpse Crystal. But it just gets gnarlier. Like, legitimately, I'm, like, so grateful for Corpse Crystal Records. Everyone on the Patreon, and if you're watching this right now, thank you. Now... A couple years ago, I was beyond stoked when Corpse Gristle sent this Hidden Pride tape for Brutal Advice. 
because this is one of those death metal records where it's like, holy shit. Like, when it comes to Canadian, like, death metal, Hidden Pride is like, so just goddamn good. And I, I just love this 1996, like this came out from the same scene and same time period as Cryptopsy's Not So Vile. And it sounds amazing on vinyl. I had no idea this even existed. Thank you. Again, like seriously. I'm not worthy. I'm scum. I suck. But no, seriously. Thank you. Because this is one of those records. If you have never heard this, the band is not called Brutal Advice. It's Hidden Pride. Okay? So just a heads up. And this... So good. Like, having this reissue on vinyl is a big deal to me, because, like I said, this is one of those Canadian death metal records, like, it's up there with Gore Lust. Like, it's, it's obscure, but, like, not... If you know your brutal death metal and whatnot, then you know how gnarly this bad boy is. And just how sick it is. You know what? I'll throw it on real quick. But that was like the number one. Holy shit. Because again, I had no idea that was on vinyl. And we were blasting some Vaminor. Thank you to Mark at Bringer of Gore and Eric at Last Dry Distribution for the introduction. Because, again, like Bringer of Gore really supported the channel. Like, I'll be going over a lot of Bringer of Gore releases in the upcoming month. And they're awesome. Like, they're seriously awesome. Like, that Tolerance band is so sick. And I don't want to spoil the uh, review. Oh, and by the way, uh, number 79 out of 100 on a nice Diarrhea <laughs> Brown LP. There's some familiar font right there. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you gotta do a little bit of uh, research, I guess. But I forget, did Head Split do like a, just a CD of this? Because I know for a fact I was looking for this on cassette, and when I saw that Bringer of Gore was doing a vinyl, I was like, oh my goodness. So when Mark sent this my way, I was just like, holy shit, thank you. And Eric at Last Drive Distribution, like sending the Purulent Remains LP, like it just really opened my eyes to a bringer of gore. And here's something with the patron this month. Okay, Nuclear War Now is having an insane 60% off sale. LPs are like $16. We can get the new Necrot and the new Witch Vomit kind of whenever. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not going to... A couple people asked as well. Can you grab the Gore Grind version of Blasphemy Fallen Angel of Doom? That's a hundred dollar LP. It doesn't ship until like 
next year. But not this month. Like, but I'm hoping next month that's the goal. Like, if if you're a patron, it's just a dollar a month. And you can win the prize package. So, yeah, like, this month, it's so gnarly. Yeah, like, it, it's... And it gets even sicker. Because now you get some extra CDs as well. But, like, the posters alone... Like, I know it sounds stupid, but, like, you get, you're getting the new Spectral Voice record poster. So, like, the posters alone are worth, like... Like, the Tetragrammasi poster... Like, look at this thing. It's just insane. And, like, you get a bunch of gore grind posters. But, to me, like... The Vaminur poster, the Blue Holocaust poster, you get the Beharit... Uh, Japan Flyer for the show with Blasphemy and Departure Chandelier. Because, like, if I had things my way and if I had disposable income, I, I would just get the Helios fundraiser, the $500, get all the LPs, and, yeah, just wait. Because like, I would have no problem waiting. But... I was just, it's too gnarly, like 60% off of everything, so $16 LPs, so I feel like we we should go that route, and yeah, I mean, if you, I'm gonna still try to get the new Witch Vomit and Necrot, and Antichrist Siege Machine, see, it start. that's where, like, we need more people in the Patreon, if you really want to, like, like, was we had a couple months where it was awesome, we got some real sick stuff, so, I know a lot of people had to drop their donations a little bit, and it's completely understandable, but, if everybody just threw a dollar in, we could really do some gnarly stuff here. And I have a double of Butcher of the Week. And I will uh, paste the cover. The cover came like that. Like, so I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. But like I said, I have a couple, I have a few copies of this, and I was like, you know what, let's give one to the channel, because they deserve it, you deserve it. If you support the channel, you deserve it. And again, my Corpse Gristle, thank you. Like just one of those labels that just rule. And, like, I, I love their discography. Like it's a lot of brutal stuff. And, yeah, I'm going to throw some Hidden Pride on. Let me put the prizes back. There, there's more stuff to them. I'm going to give you, like, some zines. Get the two mold manners of infinite forms, the inoculation tape, and I might throw you some other gnarly stuff, but, uh, you'll see. On the 4th. But we can't spend any money until the 5th. That's why I, I tell you to just try and keep your donation until the 4th. Just so, because it's just, it's weird how it works and stuff. But I will throw this on real fast. Links will be in the video description because you do not want to miss this. And the next release that they sent over. And also, I did not forget 
about the January prize package. It's just like over $60 to ship because it's a Sweden winner. But I'm going to see if they win the February prize contest because then I can just send everything at once to the winner because I feel terrible that I haven't been able... I just never even thought like... Oh shit, what if somebody international wins? Because, like, you, you gotta understand, like, that's not my money. It's the channel's money. Like, I don't go and buy, like, food with that money. Like, the reason we started the Patreon was when I broke my neck. It really helped me out of, like, just a... It, it was such a... It... Really, like, it still means a lot. Like, even if it's a dollar donation, it's just like, thank you. Like, I appreciate it. I'm not going to charge to answer your questions. Uh, that's just not the type of... And I, a lot of people have told me stuff like that, too. Like, yeah, you should do, like, what Justin does. I'm like, why? So nobody can ask, like, just so everything gets buried anyway, like, no, I'm, I would, I would never charge you folks to ask me a question, that, that would never happen, and, yeah, I, I, I'm sure I, I if I really wanted to, maybe a couple years ago, before all these new stupid rules, which is why I really, like, if we can build the Patreon, like, it would just, I wouldn't have to worry about just videos getting buried. I would know that the right people are seeing my content, and they get to, you know, maybe like, hey, I never heard of Piss Rock before, let me check it out. That's why I am here. So, like, with... This month's ridiculous nuclear war now sale. So this is where brain injuries really suck. I couldn't think of the word sale. But no, seriously, $16 for LPs? Like, early bathery? Because like, I don't have the bathery self-titled anymore. My copy of The Return is a 1985 original. That I don't have a cover for, but I have the original LP. So, and it plays fine. So, if I was to get the return, I would just switch cases. Well, sleeves, technically, but I don't know. That's, I just, I've been after the first three, maybe four Bathory releases for a very long time on vinyl, because, like, the fact that I don't have the self-titled, like, legitimately bugs me, because I, I, I love that release so much, Upheaval, Satanic, oh my, so good, I don't know what record I like the best, and it's been a minute, because for a while, I was listening to Bloodfire Death, like, on a daily basis, when I was delivering pizzas, and, Great record and all, but, like, I love the satanic stuff. But also, there's so much gnarly shit on Nuclear War now, right now. Like I said, we there's some stuff we, we do have to get. But I feel like the Nuclear War Now sale, for one, everything helps with Helios. So, not this month. This month is the sale. So I say we go nuts and do most of the purchases on the sale. If it's still up on the 5th. Otherwise, we're going to go the route that was requested, which is really sick. It's just like, I'm going to check if, if NWN has Toxic Holocaust 
evil never dies, I'm going to grab it for nuclear war now. Because it would only be like $16. But I didn't check that. I checked a lot of other stuff though. But for March, for March, like I'm going to make the prize package very insane. It's going to be worth a good amount of money. I kind of don't want to do it. But if it can build the Patreon, I'll do it. And uh, it's one of the, uh, it's it, it's gonna take a lot out of me. But if I have to do it, no, I, I, I me, I'll, 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 I'm gonna legitimately sleep on it. Because it cost me a little over $200 for this LP when it first came out. When I was still making some money. But, sorry, I got way off topic. Let's throw some Hidden Pride on and then I'll show you the last ridiculous release that the good people at Corpse Gristle sent over. I just forgot to clean my LP yesterday, but it sounded fine, so, uh, let's speed, alright, 33. Hell yeah. And now, some more brutality from Corpse Crystal. Now again. A couple years ago, I got this tape in the mail, and I was beyond stoked, dead in, hymns of the sick, which, hey, guess where this influence came from? Hymns of misery and death, and hymns of death and misery, depending on which version you have, because we purposely did that, but yeah. Dead End Hymns for the Sick, a couple years ago, arrived on cassette, and I was like, whoa, I would love this on vinyl. And then, yesterday, when I opened the mail, the first LP that was staring at me was Feast on the Flesh of the Dead by Dead End. First time on vinyl. Hell yes. This is another just absolute just banger of brutality. And it comes on this really badass like color LP. Pretty heavy duty feeling as well. Sick. Feast on the flesh of the dead. And if you... This is some straight up... Crushing... Brutal death metal. And... Like, I understand why, like... There was that whole scene in Montreal in like the mid 2000s of like technical brutal death metal bands and it's because of the groundwork laid out by like Hidden Pride by like if you listen to like the later Cryptopsy records of like DeSalvo they're more hardcore than they are death metal vocally but, like, I feel like they know there's parts on here where people will be spin-kicking. And same with Dead End, but in a different kind of way. This is more just filthy and awesome. Just seven tracks. Gnarly shit. Forget what year this was. 
1995. Holy shit. It's crazy. That was... Wow. Wait, so what year was him? Hold on. I'm sorry. I'll just draw on a blank. I forget what came first. I'm sorry. Of course, this probably isn't going to tell me. Damn it. I'm not sure which record was first, then I apologize, but... Ah, Dead End's awesome. So, again, like, having... Feast on the Flesh of the Dead on vinyl? Fucking A. Thank you, Corpse Crystal. And again, this is not available yet, but... So let's let's help sell this bad boy out. Same with the hidden pride LP, like it's so good. Like it seriously, it's so good. But yeah. Thank you, Corpse Crystal Records, for supporting the channel, everyone watching, you're the fucking best. Like, this is one of those records, honestly, like, I forget how hard it is sometimes, and then I'll listen to it and just be like, like, like dude, Dying Fetus, like, they had to have been listening to this band. Like, legit, they had to have. That was what I wanted to say. If you like Dying Fetus, I really feel... Although, like I said, you know, 1997, Hidden Pride. I think it was self-released originally. But, just... So good. I love Corpse Crystal. Awesome, awesome death metal hall. Thanks to some of my favorite Texans. Look at this color LP, too. This is really nice. Especially for the brutality that exists within these grooves. And I'm talking about the record grooves, not the album grooves. Although, they're there, too. But Corpse Crystal really just... Corpse Crystal along in Conspiracy with Burning Dogma are like two of my favorite underground labels, not just because they support the channel. Like, for one, I mean, actually giving a shit about the past, to me, is a big deal. Especially, like, one of my favorite reissues. Oh, where is it? Oh, no. And I'm going to draw a blank like an idiot. <laughs> it's on like the tip of my tongue. Infernal Dominion. I, I like regret not getting that on vinyl. Like I 100% I should have done something to get that record. Because it's one of those I just absolutely love. But really sick haul from Corpse Crystal Records. Very much appreciative. Anytime a label sends LPs, I'm just like blown away. It's like, wow. Like, thank you so much. And we also have the new Piss Rot tape. Really awesome. And the cosmetics are even sicker.
hard shell also. And you have the uh, Left to Rot CD as well as the Piss Rot CD. I might dub this first. I am not po like, I, I, if I can get a pro tape by tomorrow, I will dub that and review it that way. But Piss Rot Left to Rot, Hidden Pride, Brutal Advice, and Dead In with Feast on the Flesh of the Dead. Just legitimately some classic brutality and some modern brutality. Can't really go wrong here, especially with these two bad boys. Now again, I... Oh, shit. Hymns of the Sick. I really need to get this on vinyl, because when it comes to Dead End, that this is my, like, go-to. Gnarly artwork. Just such a good release. And this is also Burning Dogma and Corpse Gristle. Thank you again, so, so much, Infernal Hails, to Corpse Crystal Records, heavy gratitude, and thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule, best of luck on the 4th, I highly recommend, I, I do my best to, like, Keep the channel Patreon with over 30 posts a day. I spend a few hours every morning. Like People are like, why are you up at 4 in the morning? Well, I'm working on the channel. And sometimes it is a bummer. When it's like, wow, I didn't even get 100 fucking views? Like, what the hell happened? Like, some of my videos have like 4,000 and then like... Other ones, it's like, why did I even make this? Like, did anybody want, like, what the, f or when I magically lose views, I have no idea what the fucking deal with that is, but it sucks. Because again, like, a lot of these releases, like, especially, like, I really thought the holder, like, comp would get a lot more views. And it, I think it did compared to, like, Dippy Gus, which is, like, weird. I don't know. Just sometimes I just feel like people only watch when they know what band it is. When that's not why I really started this channel. It was more to show you, like, what else is out there, but still going over, like, the classics, because, in my opinion, like, there's certain records that, if you don't have, I'm kind of like, oh wait, so, like, you don't have Fearless Undead Machines by Deceased? Well, you know, it's what it, like, to me, like, nah, like, ah, uh, like, you're, you're messing up, and yeah, it's your opinion, but, like, you know, it's the same, like, obviously, if you're a fan of death metal, you better have a copy of Scream Bloody Gore in your collection. I mean, if you don't, I get it, but, like, I'm pretty sure 9 out of 10 people watching this have this on some form of physical media, if you have it downloaded, it doesn't count. I'm not trying to be a dick, I'm being, like, legit, it doesn't count. Physical, like, only here is what I'm talking about. Because, you know, it's one of those things, how much has been said about Death Scream Bloody Gore? Like, I have nothing new to add to that 
conversation. But when it comes to like a lot of the death and black metal stuff I was looking at yesterday from the past, I was like, I know the channel would like this, they'd like this, they'd like this, they would like this. Like, so hopefully, and also I am aware Headsplit has the new Sonic Poison cassette. So, like, that's the only thing, like, don't want to sleep on the Sonic Poison, but, like, this Nuclear War Now sale can really help the channel in spring with content. Like, having a lot of gnarly releases to go over. And we have some pre-orders that are due in March from, like, Dark Descent and stuff that we ordered months ago. Like, the Morpheus Descends the next batch of reissues, including the Morpheus release, which I can't wait for. But, like, that's should be the middle of this month, but the Crypt releases, they normally are kind of a little behind, but I'm very happy to add to my Crypt collection, because, like, Deteriorate, that alone... Again, it's one of those releases where, to me, I mean, you might be like, eh, that's some mid-ass, it, but it's not. It's not. If you consider this mediocre, now, I'm not being biased either, because Deteriorate are from Pennsylvania, but this is some of the best Pennsylvania death metal. And this Dark Descent, the Crypt, Ancient Way Mastering version with the alternative Moldering Skull by Mark Riddick. So, like, that's so dope. Like, I don't know, what, but Deteriorate literally deteriorated into a weird black metal band nobody really cared about. They just kind of were jumping because death metal was kind of hitting that wall around, like, trying to think, like, maybe it was 94, 95, and then it was, like, Cryptopsy's None So Vile that, like, kind of changed the game when it came to, like, what was possible. Musically, but I'm gonna shut the fuck up and this video. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there Just because you don't know who the band is does not mean they suck Because I just feel like sometimes like I said I Understand you want to see like what I think about the new spectral voice and stuff like, I get why those videos do a lot better than others, but at the same time, I really do feel like some people just either don't give a shit and that's fine, or, you know, because when I went over, like, Torso Freak's mini-LP, for example, like, people were legitimately, like, yo, this is amazing, and then, like, j Dog did a video, like, two days later, and I was just like, oh, man, like, that's awesome, though, like, you know, because he's turning people onto this, and he has a bigger, larger platform than I do, so... I just think it's awesome, you know, that gets Torso Freak out there, Rescued from Life Records out there, Head Split out there. So, anything you can do to, like, legit help the underground, it's fucking sick, and I have nothing but respect. And when it comes to Corpse Gristle, like, one of the sickest birthday presents ever. The Immolation Box tape box set that was such a cool like and like all the devourment stuff like the impaled demo which is like so good and like having like 138 
Butcher of the Week, molesting the decapitated, like all, like having all that devourment, which in my opinion is like all you need is like legit right here. And I mean, if you like other stuff, that's sick, but this is like molesting the decapitated. I know this is out of order. Impaled, and look at how nice this is. This is an uh, incest, which is a sub label of Corpse Gristle. But this is like probably some of the heaviest devourment material. Butcher of the Week. But my 138 tape is not a Corpse Gristle tape. And here's what I mean by that. Because you might, I don't want to confuse anybody. Sorry. And I didn't mean this video to go on this long. But, like, the 138 art has the same art as the Impaled demo. It's just different colors. But, this is 138 starting with Baby Killer. And this is released on Zimzum Entertainment. While impaled corpse grip. Oh my fucking god. The only thing that sucks about having long hair. That I like legit could not see a goddamn thing. But thank you corpse gristle for making today's video possible. Infernal hails and the heaviest of gratitude. Everyone watching at home you fucking rule. All the Patreons, everyone. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>